So I'm just going to double check. Oh, we're live. Okay. Ooh. I think we're good. Okay, let me just double check. I think we're live. Okay. Oh. Okay, my phone is blowing up. <laughs> In a good way? I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're, I just. Ah. I'm going to share it. All right. Hi, everybody. Hi. Yes. Awesome. We are just making sure that we are live. Today, Tuesday? Yeah. I'm going yes. to Cabo on Thursday, so my days are all jacked up. Okay. We are live. All right. Cool. Well, we're just going to keep going. We're getting a lot of people saying hi, so we are good. Hey, guys. Second, third time, I think, using Zoom. But I'm here with the amazing John Melton. You guys, I'm super, wow. super excited. Welcome to our, welcome to our community. I know I have a lot of people excited. I'm just trying to get the comments up because I know people are going to have questions. But really, I just want to dive in and uh, and get going here. So again, thank you, John, so much for joining us, you guys. I met John and his beautiful wife Nadia um, over. I think virtually in December of 2015, when I was just starting out in um, the space of wanting to learn how to brand, how to track all that. Right. And you guys were just so awesome. Just so awesome to spend time and actually chat with me. Um, and so I've seen you go through some transitions, you know, in your business. Uh, I know that you definitely have had some ups and downs and I think often people just look at those having success and just think right out of the gates, you have success, right? Yeah. Um, which is not always um, the case. And so you guys, for those of you that don't know the amazing John Melton, he's been, um, I'll have him share a story real quickly before he gets into some really ninja social media recruiting uh, tips and tricks. And I want him to also talk about the ATM system and why it's so super effective and how literally I cannot believe <laughs> how fast um, we are growing. And so um, I think it'll be really beneficial for everyone to just um, to understand it. And, and, and yeah. also not just that, why it's so important to launch your business. Cause I know that that was something that was really effective for me. I promoted eight times, I think in 24 hours from doing a launch and most people are not doing a launch. And so yeah. we're going to dive into all that. Um, but I just think that John and Nadia are so uh, just, they're just unbelievable trainers and they simplify everything, right? Like you just simplify things for, for all of us network marketers that are out there, you know, either trying to starting out or growing our business or really looking to scale and bring our business to that six and seven, seven figure level. So without further ado, I just want you to just walk people through your background that, that are not familiar with you and Nadia. Um, they're top income earners in their company now, and they're absolutely crushing it. Team is on fire, and I couldn't be more excited to be um, partnered with them. So without further well, first, ado, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, well first of all, Julie, appreciate uh, you having me on. I know both of us have had some, some crazy busy schedules, and uh, mm -hmm. just excited to uh, have a little, little back and forth convo. And you know, been in the industry now 16 years, and uh, like you said, over the last several years, it's it's been a roller coaster. In fact, just you know, the whole 16 years has been a roller coaster. But we literally had a company get shut down by the Federal Trade Commission, and that was in 2015. And it it, it was definitely a, a you know a very you know dramatic situation. It was tough to experience that and just lose a six figure income just like that. But sure. The truth is, you know, the FTC wanted to make an example out of a company because so many companies in this profession are so heavily focused on recruiting. It's recruiting recruiters to recruit more recruiters. And if you can't recruit, you can't make money. Right. So so when that happened, it was kind of a good thing, a blessing in disguise, if you will, because, you know, number one, it furthered our whole philosophy of building a personal brand. So it wasn't just about like, like, imagine if I was just always promoting that company all day, every day, and then they got shut down. I look like a fool. The truth is a lot of people didn't even know what company I was in. Right. So, so when it got shut down, it was like, I didn't even really have to talk much about it because people didn't even know I was in it publicly. And then I'll privately on my team and stuff like that. We had to have, you know, some, some serious, you know, soul searching and figure out what we wanted to do next. We considered getting out of the profession, Julie, because 
our, our network marketing training company was doing so well. But I, I, to me, it's like I, I didn't want to be out of it, but we had just had some things happen over the years and, you know, lawsuits and just companies getting shut down. It was just like, is this all a part of my story, my journey? Is this meant to happen to, to help me become a better leader? Or is it happening because I'm not meant to be in the profession? So that was, you know, some serious soul searching and praying and interviewing and asking questions. And uh, we, we, we found a company in September 2015 that we decided to partner with. Uh, we signed up 38 personal recruits. Those 38, some of them obviously went out and got to work. And we hit one of the elite ranks in the company very quickly. I think we made like 17,000 that first, you know, 45 days or so, which, you know, results not typical, obviously. But it was it was a different experience because we were having a lot more focus on customer acquisition. And then just over the last you know year plus, we were able to build a team that literally did over $25 million in sales. And it's not that big of a team. I mean, you know, three to 4,000 active distributors, but here's the best part, Julian, that's why you decided to, 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 to move in this direction. And so many yeah. other leaders are, are moving in this direction. It's, it's, you know, being able to build a business on Facebook, like you said, the ATM strategy, teaching people how to launch their business on Facebook, creating curiosity. You know, we've been we've been studying uh, attraction marketing since about 2012 when I first came across like a Mike Dillard video and a Gary Vaynerchuk video and Ray Higdon and some of these other like you know you know internet marketers. And right. I can tell you that a lot of the internet marketers, although they they had some great strategies. We found that blogging and building an email list and, you know, some of the some of the, those like hardcore, you know, Internet marketing strategies and tactics, SEO. I still don't know what that stands for. Yes, I do. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Oh, you like, don't. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like I don't really know what that means. Right. It's like that kind of stuff. And luckily, my wife does. Right. So I married up. But yeah. it was She's like. Awesome. Yeah, I just, I was like, I can't teach this to people that are part time just trying to make a few hundred bucks and make their money back. Like, I sure. need simple, duplicatable strategies. And it, you know, it's funny because part of me didn't even want to learn all that stuff because I was like, if I learn it, I'm going to want to do it or I'm going to want to teach it. I would rather just keep it super simple. And social media, we have to all admit that everybody's on social media, right? Just about everybody mm -hmm. has a Facebook account. Like, when someone says, I'm not on Facebook, you're like, what? And you're in business like it's weird, right? It is. So, it's super weird, especially if somebody is in business. But even if they're not in business and right. I do have some friends from high school, they'll probably never have a Facebook account. One of them had one. Then he shut it down because it annoyed him. And look, everybody's got their thing. Right. But right. For, for entrepreneurs, we should all be on Facebook. It's just a no brainer. I but, agree. Um, you know, we, we started using this simple system, the simple process of like, creating curiosity on your personal wall, doing live videos, uh, you know, building a personal brand. You know, I remember when you did the 30 day challenge and you freaking crushed it. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Since so then. much fear, so much yeah. fear. And that's the thing. Like, um, when we branch, so when I started diving in, John, John is hopefully you guys are, are picking up all these amazing nuggets because he's moving you into the trend because I feel like yeah. a trend is happening and things yeah. are shifting inside of network marketing. And I've been very vocal about it because I feel like either you could sit on the sidelines and kind of watch it, you know, happen, or you could jump in the game and learn this. And so, um, I remember a top leader recently said, you build your business, then you build your brand. And I argue with that because what has been building my business, the reason I have, you know, it's personally enrolled 23 people this past month in one month is because I have built a brand. And so people that you get, you have that no like and trust factor. And so automatically people are just going to be drawn to you for who you are and they want to join you. Right. And so, um, I just, I agree with that. You know, if, when I was utilizing Facebook, and, and John, maybe you could agree with this, five, six years ago when I got started in side of network marketing, Facebook is not Facebook what it was six years ago, mm -hmm. right? Because our feed is like out of control, congested with just stuff, right? Like you have to find, you have to find your unique voice and stand out, right? Yeah. And so I love what you're saying. And I, I want you to kind of just, talk to people about what the ATM system 
it yep. is and how we utilize it. Um, and literally it is leveraged the building yep. process. Like I call it the unrecruiting system because yep. we don't have to recruit. Like this is what it, the social proof is like out of control. And so if you could help explain a little bit more what that is, and I'm sorry, I have my new little puppy barking under my feet. <laughs> Oh, in the world. Oh my gosh, she's a doll. So, okay, thank you. So, so you know, the, the ATM system really, I mean, it stands for ad tag message, but, you know, really the, the concept is very simple. It's mm -hmm. using secret Facebook groups, private Facebook groups to expose people to the product and or opportunity. And I remember back in 2013 or 14, we had a team Facebook group and I first tested this out back then not knowing what it was going to turn into. And by the way, right. I'm not like the sole creator, you know, our, the company we're a part of all these leaders got together and came up with kind of the concept and tested out different ways of setting it up. And, you know, for, for me, I had already had some experience with it because when we had a, a private team group, my mindset was this. So we also had a Saturday call, right? So I'd be like, okay, right. if somebody's thinking about joining, I want to get them. In fact, even before that, let me back it way up. When we used to do a weekly Saturday training in the company I was with for seven years, every Saturday from 10 to 1230, we would have a Saturday training that people would come out to physically attend, right? Wait, this and, is crazy. You guys listen to this. Nadia and you just had the baby. Yeah. I was it, was it Christina? Tuesday. Like you, a Tuesday and they were doing an, an in-home on Thursday. Was that correct? No, or? it was a Saturday training that Saturday. Saturday. With like people like and it was every it was julie it was literally every saturday now now we do a saturday training call every saturday from 12 to 1 right so easy it's a call it's like and people take turns facilitating but this this saturday training was like okay i would do home meetings all week so with nadia right all week we're out in you know in homes right doing what we call pbrs private business receptions and your goal was to get people to come to the saturday training if they signed up get them to the saturday training Thinking about signing up, get them to the Saturday training because then if they signed up, they're trained, right? Mm -hmm. So, so same thing with this private Facebook group concept. And like you said, social proof. But the other thing is, so if somebody was thinking about joining, I started adding them into this team training group. It was like our actual group group. And the mindset was, well, if they signed up, I'd put them in the group. I'd get them on the Saturday call. So why not just add them now and see if they like it? Now, I wasn't teaching this on a large scale we didn't have an acronym for it. We didn't have like groups that were dedicated to just prospects, but that's kind of how it started. And we tested it out. And I remember I had this guy, Brian, and he goes, Hey man, I'm ready to sign up. And I'm like, shoot, I forgot to even follow up with Brian. I haven't talked to him in months. Like, you know, but he reminded me that I added him into our team group and he saw all the recognition, the rank advancements, all the excitement, the new products. And he was like, ah. dude, I'm ready to go. So he was watching, even though I forgot I put him in the group, right? So okay. that's kind so of like- So you kind of found it by accident. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, it wasn't just me. There was, there was other leaders involved, sure. but we all kind of, of came together with this concept of using a group to get customers. So again, this is one of the, the, the distinctions I want to make with mm -hmm. what needs to happen in the industry. And if you're watching this right now and you're in a company that only focuses on hype, money, making money, uh, recruiting, uh, you know, new watches and custom suits. And it's all about recruiting recruiters to recruit more recruiters. You're going to get in trouble eventually with the FTC, whether it's now or later, you got, you know, $1,800 packages. And again, your all your volume is, is recruitment, right? It's all from like self-consumption. That's a problem. So, right. so in our model, we, we have a lot of people that actually lead with the product. Now, Julie, you and I are big recruiters, right? That's what we love. But mm -hmm. most people don't successfully recruit their, their, their warm market in the beginning, right? When I first got in the profession 16 years ago, I was 20, you know, just turning right. 21. I had no influence. My network was not very good, right? So, so anyway, we have this private Facebook group with almost 300,000 people, and it's all about this weight loss program. And, you know, wow. you've got people sharing their before and afters, people getting phenomenal results, it's, you know, there's a lot of detail. Uh, you can learn about the product. So people were adding their friends into this group and tagging them in the pin post and maybe a couple, you know, before and afters. 
and they were getting customers. People were literally watching the video, seeing the testimonials and saying, give me your link. I want to order. And, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't always work out like that. Like typically you still need to follow up and touch base and, Hey, you got any questions? You ready to get started? But I mean, being able to acquire customers and then we have a recruiting group, same thing where people can add their prospects into a group to learn more about the comp plan, the business, et cetera. So being able to, to use videos and use these groups as an exposure mechanism versus you and me having to go out for coffee, sit down, talk for an hour or two, me having to explain everything, me having to overcome your objections, thoroughly explain the model, the business, et cetera. That's a very hard thing to not only duplicate, but to expect people to have time to go do. Right. I mean, Julie, how many presentations did you do so far to recruit 20 some odd people? This month, none. 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 You're using the videos. You're using the groups. So right. from a leverage standpoint, for those of you watching, think about that. She's one of the top recruiters in the company. Her team is crushing it. She's about to hit the second highest rank in the company. And she's done all that without having to go out and do presentations, meet with people, or even do online presentations. Right. So, so it's, that's the simplicity of ad tag message. And, you know, really, I think it's critical to figure out a process. And it doesn't have to be the exact way we do it, right? You could, you know, do it however you want, depending on what kind of company you're in, what kind of product, how you want to do it. You could have one group, you could have mm -hmm. multiple groups. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of figuring out a way that can help you scale your business so you're not spending all day micromanaging your team, answering the same question over and over again, doing presentations, doing three-way calls. I mean, how many three-way calls have we done, Julie? Zero. Exactly. <laughs> Now, of Zero. course, if you, get like, yeah. if you get like a big influencer, you get someone that like <clears throat> making a big decision to go with your company from another company, you know, take your time to do three-way calls, maybe even, you know, really, you know, spend that personal time with someone. But the majority of people, they just need some guidance. Right. They just need some questions answered. They just need to meet a couple other people. So I also, it's not just the ATM system that I love. I also love the group messages. You know, when I started doing group chats on Facebook mm -hmm. Messenger and, you know, not having to get on a call with every single person, not having to rely on the three-way call to close people, again, you're leveraging your time because people live in different time zones, different cities, different states, different countries. Right. And Absolutely. Being, able put, being able to put two or three upline leaders in a chat where all of us might work in different shifts, right? We have different schedules. Right. And we can answer the questions of that new person and get to know them and not have the pressure of like, I got 15 minutes. I got to get as much as I can out of this person and on to the next three-way call. We're right. doing it all through group messages on Facebook Messenger. And, you know, I, I think I was one of the first people to really start doing this back in like 2013, 2014, but not just doing group chats, but we also started using the audio recorder because I just had a lady. I just did a training for a lady in another company. She's got a big team inside of her, her company. And she said, well, with group messages, I don't feel that you can communicate the same way you can through a phone call. And I said, yeah, you can if you use group messages and audio recorder. Exactly. They're still hearing our it's voice. It's so effective. I mean, that is literally I how I'm building, right? Yeah. You guys – um, one of the greatest marketing tools you could have in your corner that you and your team absolutely without a doubt should be using is messenger. Yes. Um, I know no for me, um, being a stay at home mom that, um, I would, I would run away and hide from my children to do calls. I actually felt like a personal secretary trying to figure out how am I going to connect three, sometimes four, four yeah. times, right. I would have two upline, my prospect, me. Um, I just remember when I got started a couple years, you know, like I said, five, six years ago, I was my first post. So see, I was told in the beginning, curate curiosity, create yeah. curiosity. Okay. Very new at Facebook. I put a post out there. I had 45, John, 45 people out of my curiosity post. And at the time it was just text. This is like, wait, right? Like now you have to have pictures and video Facebook live. It yeah. was just text. And I had 45 leads. And I said, oh my gosh. I called my sponsor and I go, I have 45 people asking what I'm doing. She goes, awesome. Set up all the calls. I had oh. to legit set up 45 calls. But here's, okay, maybe not all of them, but I would say it, it was about 32 calls. 32 calls. The first six months, my husband, Tim, goes, um, 
is this going to continue down this path? Because if so, I mean, we're, you know, we don't even see you anymore. Cause what I would do is eat dinner and then I would run and be on a three-way call for the rest of the night. Cause I yeah. had them kind of lined up and it just kept going. Cause I kept going with curiosity posts. I cannot tell you by this phone, like with three-way messenger, you guys download that app. Um, it has completely leveraged my life. And, yeah. and, and, and you'll, you'll have several chats going at once, but you get to it when you get to it. This is the only way I'm building a team in UK and Australia and Canada and in the U S and New Zealand right now is yeah. by messenger chats. I just enrolled somebody from the UK today. What did I do? Set up a three-way chat with her, uh, with another leader on our team that's in the UK. Boom. Introduced it. Now the two of them are working together. Same with my Australia leader, leader with the woman I just had come in from Australia. You guys. You need to use Messenger and start leveraging your time or else you will go and completely hit burnout. You yep. will. 100%. It's so much easier to build a business leveraging Facebook, but it's also so much easier to leverage Facebook Messenger because another example too, because sometimes people think it's like one and the same and they are two different apps. Most people have both, but right. you know, you can do all the videos in the world, all the prospecting in the world, all the follow up. You can do all that stuff on Facebook. And, and like, you know, by follow up, you're commenting and liking on their stuff and you're ATMing. But if you're not using Facebook Messenger for, you know, like I still, I went back through recently, like I looked up some old chats because I looked up the names of the people. I have group chats from 2013. How oh crazy. my gosh. <laughs> so like, Talk imagine. about follow up going yeah, back. That's what I'm saying. Right. Like, it's just, amazing. <laughs> just, just drop a thumbs up in there and everybody's like, whoa, it's so weird from five years ago, right? So yeah. So when it comes to group messages with prospects, so efficient, you know, unless the person like literally blocks you, like you can always follow up, which, you know, I've, I've been blocked and I've invited people to my block party. Right. But <laughs> ultimately, most people, it's just a timing thing. They're like, I like it. I want to do it. I like you. You know, you're not always trying to sell me. You're a human first marketer. Second, you stay in touch and mm -hmm. eventually they come around. Right. But yeah, the other thing absolutely. is. And you know this because your team is literally killing it. It's once they join. Now that's the that's the part where we have to step in as leaders and give them direction like, you know, do this, do this, do this. But with these accountability chats that we have, these team chats. So it's not just the prospecting part. It's yes. now you've got accountability chats where everybody on the team is able to support each other. And that's the culture I have. So effective. Oh my God, I've dreamed of this culture, Julie, for years because I was in a company. I don't know what your company was like. My company years ago used to be like, oh, you're on that team. Or, you know, I'm not helping them because they're not on my team. And everybody was out for themselves. Everybody had their own teams. And the problem is there's a lot of different personalities, different uh, ethnic backgrounds, different genders, different ages and opinions, and, you know, different religious and uh, political beliefs. Mm -hmm. So anyway, and I don't want to go on a tangent on that. The point is when you have these accountability chats, these team chats where, you know, everybody's getting added into the chat as they join the team, but then they're meeting all of these other sideline people, right. other upline people. And like, let's say somebody has a question. They're brand new. Of course they have questions. Instead of you being their go-to, their only go-to for every question they have, they can ask in the team chat, Mm -hmm. And hopefully you have other participants in the chat that want to help, that right. want to help each other and answer those questions. And it just creates this team camaraderie, this, this environment where nobody cares who's on whose team. I have to say, I hate that crap. I, I hate too. the whole like, oh, you're not on my team, so I'm not going to help you. Because the truth is, if Sam has success and Susan has success and Andy has success and Julie has success, even if they're not on my team, it's good for everybody because the more people win, the more exciting the opportunity is, right? right? Absolutely. No, I love that. I'm the chats that we have with the team. It's, it's super, it's another leverage part of building your business, you guys. So you want to have the chats with you, with your, whoever is building a business on your team, start a group chat with them because once you start putting your new business builders in there, um, and, and direct them, right? We're the tour guide. So we got to direct everybody. And we say, hey, Sue, uh, you know, everyone congratulates Sue. She's our, our newest, you know, um, she's building the business with us, our newest team member. Here's the cool thing. 
I could be at the movies with my boys and Sue has a question and I already directed her when she has a question, go to the chat. If you can't find it in the resources anywhere in our files, tabs in the groups. And guess what? Like less than a minute, Sue has her question answered and it yep. didn't come from me. And so that's just being duplicated. You guys, I say this all the time and John, you could agree or disagree. The front end process of your business is up to you. I, I don't, you know, people are like duplicate, duplicate. I think the duplication comes in from the moment that you meet the prospect from there forward, but not, I'm not going to like bring on an introvert and I'm going to say, Hey, throw them to the wolves, go into this mall. You're an introvert, but I want you to go up to, you know, 20 people and get their phone numbers and don't come mm -hmm. home until you have their phone numbers. Okay. That's not realistic. If you're an introvert, they're going to say, you know what? Screw you. I'm out. I don't need yeah. this. Right. Yeah. I don't want to do that. So, you know, I, we teach, we teach attraction marketing and branding. It is something you study for a long time. It's something I've been studying really hardcore this past year and has worked in my favor, in our favor. And that's what we teach. Right. Um, but I don't think that you could really duplicate. I say you meet people where they're at, right. You meet people where they're at. However, that they're meeting people, whether they want to do home parties or coffee shop meetings, you know what? It's up to them. If they enjoy doing that, because I know that there's some people inside of our team and our company that do enjoy doing that, right, John? Yeah. And so if you want to do that, great. But you got to have this system down pat and you have to be able to leverage your time or you are going to be tethered to the phone doing three-way calls all the time. You have to have some sort of system set up to leverage yourself. and don't lose focus and be like, oh, I got to be on this platform. I got to be over here on this platform. Do you agree? I mean, you guys, Facebook is amazing. The tools that are given to us on Facebook are incredible. So don't get distracted with all the other platforms because I have people ask me all the time, well, do you build on LinkedIn? Do you use um, uh, Twitter? I'm like, what? No, Facebook is incredible. I don't, there's billions of people on Facebook, you guys. The last thing I want to see is people just lose focus of what is the most, the, the, keep the main thing, the main thing. And we live in a noisy world. So part of what I love to do is just streamline things for people and help to give them leverage and systems. As I know you yeah, they get too. shiny balls. They get shiny ball syndrome, right? They're exactly. like, you know, yep. oh, my friend, my friend, Sarah recruited someone on Pinterest. And you know, if you love Pinterest and you already have a following there, or you love YouTube and you have a following, I'm not saying it's, it's bad, but it's like, I had someone the other day go, Hey, so. I've got a big, big network on LinkedIn. And I've got some people interested in my business, but they're not on Facebook. And I'm just like, <laughs> me, pers me, me personally, when they say they're not on Facebook, well, I will say this. If they say I'm not Get on an Facebook, account. <laughs> I'll say, well, I'll say, okay, great. Can you set up a Facebook account so we can work together? Yeah. If they're like, no, I'm not going to do that. There's nothing I can do. Like, I'm not going to, you know, ruin my day and bend over backwards to help someone that like literally can't even you know, follow like the, the most basic system we have, which is using Facebook, that has to be like the platform, right? So exactly. I, I think a lot of people get hung up on not only shiny ball syndrome, but they also get too caught up in, in perfectionitis and comparitis where yes. they're waiting to launch their business. They're waiting to do live videos. They're waiting to create curiosity, build their brand prospect until they know everything they know exactly what to do. And that's just not how it works. That's not real life. Like real life, like the, the real world is like, if you want to play a sport, right? I want to play football. I can't study it and try to try to figure it out. I got to pick up the ball and just start playing. And granted, you might not want to put me in a game right away, but like, you're not going to figure out if you're good at something or you enjoy something without just doing it first. And, right. and yeah, you're going to suck at it in the beginning. People go, I suck at live videos. I'm like, how many have you done? They're like three. I'm like, well, of course you suck. You've done three. Like, and it's actually good. Oh my gosh. I remember mine. I'm sorry. You just, yeah, you guys, I started live videos. When was that? It was your very first challenge. You guys, yeah. if you haven't done the, the, um, their 30 day video challenge, you have to do it if you have fear, but real quick, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but he's talking about the video. Um, I did my Facebook live. Nobody was on my Facebook live. I remember my first like week of doing Facebook live in the 30 day challenge. I loved, I hearted my own live. I heard it. I love it. Hit the, I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, I love my own life. This is, <laughs> I look back now and it's so funny because I know so many people have that fear, John, and you and Nadia doing that challenge really helped me break free of that fear. And then I just kept going. 
then it became yeah. like a beast with you did, you definitely did. <laughs> yeah well the whole thing is when you make it not about you yes exactly when you make it, when you make it about the people that are going to watch when you make it about the people that are following you when you make it like how get can rid I of your ego you? yeah like like if, if like yeah. let me give you an example like people will always say well what do I talk about in my videos? And I'm like, I don't know. What are you passionate about? What are you knowledgeable about? What are you learning? But think of it this way. If you watch this video and it helps you, or you read a book and it helps you, or there's something, there's a lesson that you learned or uh, an experience you had that was beneficial, even if it was a negative experience, why wouldn't you think that would help someone else? The like common right. sense would tell you if it helped you, there's got to be another human that it would help, Absolutely. right? So, so do a video about that. Do it, do it, do it. Even if it's a text, right? Like you said, you, you did, you did an actual <laughs> post and you typed it out. I don't yeah. care what it is. Just, just figure out a way to communicate. Now video is the best, but it's not the only way. It's just the best way, right? It's, <clears throat> you know, it's just the most effective way for people to get to know you, like you trust you because they get to actually, it's, it's the next best thing to them sitting down with you personally and spending time with you. Absolutely. Right? Hands you don't down. really get to know somebody just through a post, but no. you can still get value. You can still mm -hmm. build a, a following that way. It's just better with video. So mix it in there, test it out. But you know, the, the other reality too is, is like I said, compare itis. Sometimes we compare our chapter one, two, three, four, five to someone else's nine, 10, 11, 12. Like you might see Julie and go, Oh my gosh, like she's having so much more success and I've been doing this longer and that longer. So what? Don't get frustrated, get fascinated. Say, what is Julie doing differently? Or maybe, maybe Julie did something prior to network marketing, where she already built up a great reputation, where she already had a lot of people that loved her, trusted her, et cetera. Like, don't get so caught up in what other people are doing and what other people got going on. Focus on you and focus on improving every day. And right. ultimately, it's, it's, we all have our own journey and story. And it's, it's normal to struggle in the beginning. Like, it took me seven years to finally fire my boss and become a full-time network marketer. And I was like pretty good. I mean, I was, it wasn't like I, I, I totally sucked in the beginning, even though I was young and didn't know a lot of people. Like I worked my butt off, talked to a ton of people. I did cold market, warm market. I mean, eventually I got to a point where I would talk to anybody. And I have to admit when you were talking about like going to the mall and meeting people and getting numbers, I actually yeah. hated that kind of stuff, oh. but I would, I'd be all good with running an ad, cold calling people. Call, like if I could, call, oh. I was, okay I never cold call. call. I was okay with calling people because I think my mindset was, and of course this was, you know, 16, 14, 13, 12 years ago, right? It was years and years ago. But I think the reason I was okay with it, because if the call went bad, I could hang up, right? Or, or yeah. they could hang up on me and I just move on to the next call. Face right. to face was always hard for me because like I would get very feisty if someone was like nasty towards me or was like, didn't trust me right away. Like, I don't know. I'd just get like argumentative or, you know, I'd, I'd almost like, I, I don't know. I get too like, heated and I couldn't get out of it because it's face to face. Like some of my very good friends, I don't think they'll ever do network marketing because the way we would fight about it 15 years ago, like mm -hmm. they have a perception of network marketing because of the way I approached them so many years ago, Got it's it. tough, but it's, it's true. So yeah. I just, I just feel like however you're going to go about meeting people and talking to people, you're, you're going to do what you're going to do. But I think ultimately comparing yourself to others and being frustrated that your results aren't as good, it's only because you're looking at people that just maybe really had great credibility when they got started, or maybe they paid a price somewhere else. Because it's like I tell everybody, just because I love the ATM system and you know building on Facebook and doing group chats, our team is blowing up, it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody is winning. There's still people struggling. Mm -hmm. There's still people that couldn't get a customer if their life depended on it right now. There's still people that are struggling with recruiting big time, but they're struggling from home. Like mm -hmm. I would rather struggle in my, my, my t-shirt and gym shorts, which is what I'm wearing right now. Right? right. I would rather struggle from home than struggle on the road and being out every night doing, doing home meetings and weekly meetings and meeting people at the coffee shops. Right. So at least the way we sure. struggle now, it's a lot more convenient. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. I remember there were times I'd show up because even though I didn't host my own home party, I still was a leader. So I would show up and do home parties for my, my past team my, uh, in my old company. And I'd sometimes show up and I drive. I remember one time I drove 50 miles and, and John, I'm not even kidding. 
um, the the three that were there were already on the products. Yeah. And I'm like, like, wait a second, why am I here? Nowadays we have Zoom, right? We could do it, it doesn't matter. You could you could launch right on your own Facebook page, which I highly recommend, which our team does, which I have done. And 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 so it does, it's just times have changed. It's mind blowing. And it, it's changing fast. It's changing yeah. really fast. So well, the way you launch is really effective too. Like yes. that, that we call that the 3DW Facebook Live launch formula, mm-hmm. where you go live talking about like, you know, the, the title could be like huge announcement. I can't believe I'm really doing this or something that makes people go. Mine was breaking, finally breaking my silence. There you go. Right. Like, what is she doing? I, I got to <laughs> click on this. Like, even if you're not interested, how people are go, are you interested? How can you be interested in something? You don't even know what it is, right? Like your goal isn't to get them interested with, with them watching the video. Your goal is to create curiosity, making yes. them want, number one, click the play button first. Yes. Number two get them to want to watch, like they're actually watching it and then getting them enough information to make some of them want to reach out to you. Even if they don't say, oh man, I'm definitely interested, but they at least say, what are you doing? Like, what is, yeah. well, so humans so are that, curious you know, by nature. So yeah. peak that curiosity. Want, you know, they want to be curious. Yeah. They want you to close the loop. We like to say like, you know, leave that loop open. open. So they're like, mm-hmm. Hey, so the products that you're marketing sound great. The new company you're talking about sounds great, but you never, you never said the name of the company. You're like, yeah, I know, because I want you to reach out to me. I'm not going to tell you unless we're in a one-on-one conversation. People right. are like, oh, that's being secretive. You're hiding something. No, 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 that's not true. I want you, just like the preview to a movie, the movie isn't going to tell you how it ends. Exactly. Why would they do that? You wouldn't buy a ticket then. Their right. goal is to create enough curiosity to get you to buy a ticket and, you know, with, with network marketing, we're not saying you got to buy anything before finding out like a movie. We're just saying, if you want to know more, you have to reach out to me because the truth, here's the truth. If I say, oh, I'm an ABC company. Well, yeah, you, might have interest. you might, you might come across my wall and go, I'm interested in that. Let me go research it on my own, mm-hmm. Google, YouTube, all that. And I never even reached out to you. I didn't need to reach out to you because it's plastered all over your Facebook wall. So it's not that we don't want them to know what we're doing. We just don't want them to know until they talk to us first. As soon as they reach out, it's like, yeah, I'm with ABC company. You know, here's, here's, here's what we do. Here's what we're all about. Here's why I'm excited about it. Always talk about why. And then your goal is to get them with our system is to get them interested enough, intrigued enough to want to at least watch a video Check out mm-hmm. the Facebook groups. See, I don't try to sell the opportunity. Product. I don't try to Mm-mm. sell it. I try to sell them on being a part of our private group right. and looking at the group, right. checking out the videos. So don't, don't, don't try to sell the thing. Sell the thing that explains the thing. Exactly. And I think that that's another thing that's so super effective because once you get them into the thing where they're watching the videos, which I also love because I'm not sending out email after email with links, 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 um, the group has the social proof and it does it itself. And so another thing I want to piggyback off what you said um, is besides the curiosity, and so they're not going off and Googling or going and being like, oh, hey, my neighbor Sally is in that company. I'm going to go join Sally because I know Sally. Um, Another thing that's been really effective through my network marketing career, which has helped to actually I've had a lot of success is to be able to actually control the conversation to have it directed a certain way. So you're just taking them from point A to point B to point C, and they're not necessarily controlling it. You could actually ask them the questions, show them that you care, taking the time with them and then presenting them the information that has been super effective. And that just comes with posture. Right. And I think that that's something also that, um, some network marketers out there, they need to, they need to have more posture in their approach and be able to take control of that, that conversation. You're like, look, um, this is how we share, this is how we share what we do. Like you right. want me to explain it because you know, when you're new, sometimes your friends, sometimes people, you know, really well, they, they, they want to push you around because they think they can. They're like, you just I, don't add me to a group. Just tell me what is it? Because you know <laughs> what they're looking for? They're looking to poke holes in it. They want, of course. they're looking they're looking for the reason to say no, so they can go, oh, 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 see, 
I knew there was – that's – all right, nope, I'm good. Like, no, I ain't doing I'm. – we're not playing that game. You want to know what I do? And, and you know, it's been a while since I've had to pop yeah. stuff like that because, you right. know, we build our brands, right? People right. know us. They respect us enough not <clears throat> to talk to us like that. But mm-hmm. when I was new, it's like, no, I don't want to come to the meeting. You just tell me what it is. And oh, then yeah. I'm new, so I'm going to be like, okay, so here's what it is. It's like, you know – so it's, 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 you ever seen a pyramid? So it's like a legal one, but it's like, instead of like, you're at the top and then like, 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 like you sound like an idiot, right? So <laughs> instead of us having to fumble and mumble and, you know, try to figure it out, we just say, listen, that's a great question. I know you want to learn more about Modair and yeah, I can give you my link. You can check all that out. But here's the thing. That's not our system. That's not the process. You are going to be freaking blown away when you see this private Facebook group. You're going to be blown away when you watch this video, when you see this, you know, the testimonials. When, like, if I get you in that group, you are going to be just amazed. Wait till you see the comp plan video. Wait till you, so you're really edifying the group and getting them at least interested enough to be added to it. And you know what? It's interesting because people are like, well, I don't like being added to groups without permission. And, you know, I, I so I'm not going to add people without permission. And I'm like, see, this is, again, a posture thing. I don't ask for permission, but I also don't add them without telling them. It's just that I'm saying, hey, so I'm adding you. Work. The next step is I'm going <clears> to <throat> add you to these groups, right. tag you in the video so you can learn about the products, learn about the business. And then I'm going to put you in a group message with one of the leaders or a couple of leaders that I work with just so you can meet some of the people. Sound good? And now if they're like, no, don't do any of that. Okay, well then, you know, maybe I won't do any of that. But if they're already like excited and they want to learn more, to me, that's just a natural process to get them in the groups, get them in the groups. And then I might not put them in a group chat right away because I might want them to kind of like, you know, be in the the groups first, watch a video or two. Then Mm -hmm. maybe the next day I put them in a group chat with with Upline. Um, But it's just, it's not, necessarily being too eager or too pushy you don't want to have commission breath right yeah you gotta pump the brakes a little bit but at the same time you're not gonna be like is it okay if i add you to the group could you please watch the videos like no 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 no, no. they're not doing me a favor i'm sharing something with them that's going to help them and mm-hmm. they're going to be so happy that i shared it with them now, of course, mm-hmm. some people still say no to me, right? People still say no to you, right, Julie? I mean, it, mm-hmm. we still get the no's, <laughs> but the thing is, yeah. we're not we're not necessarily needing them to look at it. We want right. them to look at it. It's in their own best interest mm-hmm. to get their questions answered, know what they're saying yes or no to, but I'm not going to be in a situation ever where I'm the one begging or pleading with them to look at what I have. I got a miracle in my mouth. It's just I got to open up and, and, and have the dialogue, have the conversation and be excited about what it is and then getting them to want to watch the video, take a look at the presentation video, take a look at the groups. And if they still say no, great. It's, you know, some will, some won't, some wait, some watch. They watch and see how you do first. Mm-hmm. So what next? <clears throat> yeah, it's always been the case. And I think that that's the posture I've taken from day one in my business. My last company went, you know, multi six figures in 22 months there. And people are like, how, like how, well, it was the whole crazy curiosity. I was building a brand when I didn't even know what, I didn't even know what a brand was, you know, six years ago or whatever. And I got started. I was just, I was so crazy just listening to what they were telling me, create curiosity. I'm like, don't say the company name and here's why. And then carry on that posture. And the posture came with my very first objection from my best friend was, Oh, you're, you're in a pair. That's like a pyramid scheme. You're in that. And you guys legit, I didn't even know what the heck that meant. I didn't even know. I was like, uh, I came home and asked my husband and I'm like, what's a, what's a pyramid scheme. And he's like, like a Ponzi scheme. I, long story short, I realized that day forward, it was the best thing she ever could have done because it allowed me to really understand and learn the profession of network marketing. Yeah. And that is what I think is super key for everybody. So what John and I are giving you guys is just, this is what's working for us. And John, thank you so much for being here. I, and I want to clock mastermind. I know you've been on call after call, but I truly value you and Nadia and our friendship. And you guys are just incredible leaders. Um, you guys, they could be on a beach retired somewhere and literally they're not, they are like in the trenches running alongside. And, um, and as leaders, that's the way it should be. 
And of course, I'm not where I'm at without having, I have to give a major shout out to my team. Hello. Um, yep. Just, uh, you know, an incredible, incredible human being. So um, thank you for being here. I just always want to provide value and make an impact for all of you watching. And can we please leave John some love um, and maybe leave a golden nugget of what you, of a takeaway that you've gotten from John. Um, I think that he would absolutely love that. And uh, real quick, um, John, I know you have a training tonight. You guys, I have a training next Tuesday, a live new workshop for all of you that are wanting to learn how to attract. Like, what does this mean? Like this branding, this attracting, how to attract, enroll, and retain um, mm -hmm. in three simple steps. And so that's going to be next Tuesday. If you guys want to learn more about that, the email is going out tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed to my email list, come back to my fan page, hit subscribe. Um, or you can also reach out to my support at info and create success with Julie.com. We'll make sure to give you um, the link to that. And John, I know you have a social media training tonight with Nadia. Um, you guys at uh, what time? 9.30? I yeah, 930 Eastern. Yep. Yeah. 930 Eastern is their training tonight. So again, we're just here. We just, I love the value you brought today. Thank you. And let's just continue to crush it. <laughs> Absolutely. Just getting started. I know. Okay. Bye, John. Bye, everyone. Thank you. See ya. Bye.